Greetings to another video. Today we are going to discuss the differences or which is the right one for you using your phone to navigate and record your rides or a specific cycling computer. Cargo. Slow down bugger. The reason I've not been doing as many long rides and so I've started kind of using my phone more so I thought I would compare the differences. I know it's one of the questions that I get a lot on Instagram saying which is better. I'm just starting up cycling like which do you which do you recommend? Do you think I should get one or do you think I should use my phone? So let's explore the options on today's ride. I'm just going up Ashy Valley. Again, this is my little local spin. Also, I do want to add, I don't think there's one that's better than the other. I just think there's one that's going to be better suited to your individual needs. So I'm just going to put a little disclaimer in there. So, right, let's get up the climb. God, I love this climb so, so much. So when I first started riding, I think it's like seven years ago, that was a long time ago, it wasn't really like the apps and the technology to be able to just do everything on your phone. I basically just used to use Google Maps and to like to navigate and stuff. But there are so many ways now of navigating and recording your rides like on just on your phone. And so like for Strava, for example, you can choose your route, you can look at segments, you can record basically where you've been all in one app so that is like a mass sorry I'm a bit out of breath but that is like a massive bonus that you can have everything on your phone um in just one unit you don't have to mess around with a second unit oh god i'm bloody hot why is it no one else is doing this it looks really cold when i look out and then when i actually get out i'm bloody sweating i put like a winter top on another thing that i really like using like phone navigation for is it's much easier just to make changes on the route as you're going yes you can kind of like transfer them over like on your on your garmin or wahoo but obviously it's a lot quicker just doing it directly on your phone because you'd have to use your phone to get those generally those routes onto the unit anyway so that's a massive plus i feel like for using a phone also as well i thought initially oh it's great for just doing like short rides with that's how i've been using it but then i remembered my friend greg actually navigated and recorded riding the whole of africa it took him like six months he was doing about i think it was 100 100 miles a day and yeah he used everything i put a little picture up now but he did that all basically using his phone on a quad lock actually i'll chat about that in a minute because that's what i've got mine set up with um but yeah he used that set up to navigate the whole of africa so it isn't just for people that want or that are new to cycling it can be if you want to go and do a big adventure and you don't want the hassle of taking two units so that's something as well to bear in mind i'll actually show you now what i actually mount it with uh, so this is quad lock you might have heard of quad lock they are just the best this is like so so secure and you can get like covers for it and yeah so you can basically get one that either like straps on there to your um like bars with like just little like elastics or you can get an out front one um to kind of sit in place or at the side of like you would use like a wahoo or a garmin so you just push it down and the other good thing is that you can actually have it landscape if you wanted it if you preferred it that way i actually use this on zwift just line it up and that's it it's clipped in so that means you can use your phone as your mount and it is just as secure as using that also while i'm on the topic of being able to record long rides um with such a strava i actually recorded my everest in on strava it was actually my backup and i ended up having to use the backup on um strava it's actually just in my back pocket it would have been nicer to have it on there so i could check charge and stuff more regularly but yeah you can do obviously really long rides as well with it um so yeah right now i'm gonna head up the climb stop waffling head up the climb nice view look at that i wish it was warm all year i don't want winter another thing made quite visible here is how easy it is to see and if you prefer a much bigger screen than a phone can give you a much clearer bigger view of the map another bonus of having um your phone on your mount is that you can actually use google maps so you can, if you need to get any food or anything kind of find where the nearest supermarket is so that's another bonus that you're not going to get on the old bike computer side note if you go to aldi 
get some of the other lions. They are incredible little sweets and bike fuel. So I guess the benefit of being able to use your smartphone is that you don't have to fork out another expense on top of that. So, you know, um, bike computers can range from around a hundred pounds, I think, from up to around, I think maybe about 350. I don't think there's any more expensive than 350. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, so that is one major bonus that you don't have to buy something extra. So, what am I gonna say? Let's carry on up the climb. And that little steepy bit there leads me on to why I mainly use bike computers and it's not going to be the same for everybody but for me, those in the background, those hills, hills I've just done, I love all the metrics. I want to know exactly where I am on a route, I want to know potentially like how, well, how many meters I've climbed, how many more there are to go, just all the stats and then when you've got things like Climb Pro which is a Garmin feature um which shows you any potential climbs that are coming up how steep they're going to be how long they're going to last like you're just not going to get that on a smartphone not that i know of anyway and then other data such as like power data cadence again you're not going to be able to get that on a smartphone i don't know any apps that do that so with a bike computer you're going to get all that extra information and data and then also training um you're going to be able to do laps and lap function and actually get your training in your um, bike computer. So if you want to go out and say do, say, I don't know, 20 minutes in zone three or, oh, hi, oh no, he's here again, oh no. I always film in this little bit because I love it. And he's seen me a few times, but I just love this spot. Oh God, he must think I'm crazy. I'm always seeing him back, I bet thinking, bloody hell, that girl again with a bike. God, there's a bloody track to come in now. Spikes. So yeah, back onto training. So yeah, if you want to do like, get your training workouts within those, it's going to enable you to do that. And you can't, as far as I know, do that on a smartphone as yet. So that's another bonus of why you would want that. Right, let's carry on to the top of the climb, which is kind of that way. Hi, right, sheepies. I'm nearly at the top of the climb. So I'm halfway through now, I'm just going to turn around and head back now and got to the top of the climb. I guess the other thing to mention is battery life. On a bike computer you're going to get a better battery, longer life out of one of them than using a phone. And so I guess my conclusion to this is like obviously do which works for you, but for me what I've worked out now is that I do both. So I take my GPS, that's a main unit that I use for my long rides, but it's windy up here, so don't blow it off. Um, and then I take my phone with the quad lock on there in case I need to navigate or in case I need to go onto like Google Maps to find somewhere to eat. And I think it's the best one, honestly. I think it's the best of both worlds. And I'll be brutally honest, before I had a quad lock, I, I don't know, I just feel like I didn't ever think I needed it. I think it's one of those things, once you have it, like, oh, this is actually really useful. And I think that's the case for a lot of people. I think, oh, well, I'll just use a bike computer. Why would I need that? But having it is just, just like a, an extra, back up for your route and yeah i'm really happy with it it is pretty cool i should say now that you know it's sponsored by quadlock so thank you to them for sponsoring it and yeah i want to head back down there's some beautiful cows in this field oh i just love it it's so windy come on summer give us a couple more weeks please hey calf i can see you on the little wee wee to be fair cows have seen me do many a tinkle on my endurance rides Look at it looking at me. It's like, oh, you just see me out of tinkle. You pervert. Oh. See, look, dude, God. Probably should have bought a tripod, but who brings a tripod on a ride, really? Oh, they might be. I think they. Oh, my bike's falling over. Uh, they range from. Why is that falling over? Show it in the tree. 400, mate. What the hell's that? Let's start that again. 